I'm David Holes, I'm the CTO at Leap Motion. Uh, we're making uh, next generation 3D motion sensing device. Tell me about what we're, what we're looking at here. Uh, here we just, uh, we've, we've got a bunch of different demos. We, uh, we usually start off with something very simple, just some like, uh, some like 2D drawing. And uh, you can see, you know, it's fast, it's responsive, but, uh, but not just in a, sort of, uh, in a sort of very broad way, but also in a very fine way. So I can, each, each square is just one centimeter and I can draw something like hello within just a few millimeters. And this is all being powered by basically a, a demo version of this, the yeah, small yeah, this, thing that'll plug into your computer. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, uh, the demo version is nowhere near as good as the final version, but... Uh, and how much will it recognize? It'll get 10 fingers. Yeah, inside. we can get, we can get all, any, all 10 fingers. We, uh, we can seize the actual shape of your hand. And so here's the different fingers. My, you, know, all, all, you can see all the different fingers on my hand, and you can see very, 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 very subtle motions. And uh, uh, of course, I can do something like draw. Uh, draw some sort of spirals in the air, and then I can uh, rotate around it. You can see everything's in 3D. Oh, wow. Uh, so yeah, so, yeah, since we can track multiple fingers, we can do all the sort of things that are normally sort of associated with uh, touch. And uh, so you get that really, you get, you get the really good pinch to zoom. You, get, you can do more than one hand. You can sort of walk around and zoom out and do all sorts of interesting stuff. And you were saying it's all about dynamic feedback rather than particular gestures. Like you yeah. do something and it shows you what you're doing as opposed to Mm -hmm. telling you how to do a certain action. Yeah, yeah, exactly. On the backwards compatible side, any sort of application made for touch just works. Mm -hmm. This is sort of a famous touch demo. And uh, uh, in this case, there's no, actual there's no actual API between our software and this software. This is sort of a software that's looking for a touch screen, and we basically give it a virtual touch screen, and we tell it, you know, there's, you know, when I do this, it's touching right there. And, uh, and so basically you can get sort of uh, uh, effortless backwards compatibility with sort of legacy touch applications. Like instead of having to develop for your particular thing, you just are basically projecting a touch screen above yeah, the yeah. cameras here. Yeah, yeah. In this case, my finger sort of laser points at the screen mm -hmm. right, where, right where it would have touched it. You can, you can use, you know, you can do multiple hands simultaneously and ta hands and tools simultaneously. So maybe like I'm drawing something with one hand and rotating the page with my other hand. Mm -hmm. And you can, you know, you can detect like what the various objects are. So of course I can, you know, map a pencil to something like drawing and map a marker to something like a marker. And some, you know, like you can do lots of potentially very interesting things that even on a, even if it's two dimensional are still things that you couldn't traditionally do with something like a tablet because it just very limited uh, in terms of what you can actually recognize. And there will be a specialized app store for it, right? For apps mm -hmm. that are made yeah. to work with mm -hmm. this particular device. Yeah, so when you get the device, you can see like all the sorts of really interesting things that are actually mm -hmm. made for that device in particular. And things that other people have made compatible with it that are also compelling experiences. Mm -hmm. I guess it's interesting, I guess, to point out, you know, the, we were talking about like the differences between like a touch screen and this. Mm -hmm. Where in this case, we're sensing the direction of the pen too, not just the, mm. you know, not just the location. So you can see like as I rotate it around, you can, you know, so you can imagine like writing the nice cursive swishy, you know, like mm -hmm. swishy letters and things like that. And that's sort of one of those things again that a touch is not particularly well suited for. So this is a demo we often do where it's it's sort of fast and it's accurate. But the interesting thing is that it's actually a, a map. And basically, you notice I don't actually have to move my hand right now mm -hmm. uh, because we've mapped a very small area to a very large area. Mm. It's one of those things that you get out of this accuracy. So that way, you get sort of the connectedness that you would get with something with touch, but you have the uh, the sort of uh, responsiveness and sensitivity and effect and sort of efficiency of something like a mouse. Ah. And so, once your finger, once your the mouse is in the middle of the screen, you should be able to sort of cover the entire screen with just your fingertip. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe like a little bit of wrist motion, but not probably too much. I'm having trouble not getting too excited about slicing fruit. I mean, it really is amazingly accurate. Imagine like reaching into a virtual space and being able to sort of uh, move things around in a natural, mm -hmm. like sort of very physical way. Whereas like otherwise you wouldn't necessarily be able to do these sorts of things. And that, you know, the idea of reaching in, moving things forward or backwards and flipping things around and moving to the side and doing things like that don't necessarily make sense in the sort of conventional, you know, interface device. But here I'm just right. sort of able to grab space and sort of, and sort of move it and uh, do interesting things like that. Can you imagine sort of just like reaching forward and sort of grabbing the screen and be able to sort of flick it. Mm -hmm. At some point, it's no longer it's no longer gestures. Just like it's like you have this object and it's in your hands and you're able to manipulate it in very subtle ways. That that's sort of very intuitive in the back of your mind instead of something that you're thinking about like okay, what drop that menu do I do? How do I engage rotate mode? Okay, let me pivot here and do this <laughs> right. thing and and it ends up becoming a it's a, it's a it's it's really interesting. It's a, as someone who sort of grew up with computers. Having having a moment where you're where you're sort of flicking where you're sort of moving something between your fingertips is, is very strange. Yeah. Is like well, I wasn't I've never had an experience like that with a with a computer before. That's, that's sort of interesting. Exciting stuff. Yeah.